Bueno, pues eh, en primer lugar, buenos días a todos. Antes de empezar la charla, queríamos. Gracias. Antes de empezar la charla, queríamos dos ideas, eh, dos ideas antes previas, antes de empezar. Lo primero, a la organización, eh, darles la enhorabuena por este estupendísimo congreso que nos gusta tanto. Eh, las felicidades por los cinco años, que cumpláis muchos más. Sabéis que para nosotros es un privilegio poder estar aquí, ya lo sabéis. Entonces, bueno, eso que vaya por delante. La segunda idea previa a la charla, que no tiene nada que ver, es que, bueno, en la, en la inauguración de, de la RUTE, pues nos enteramos de que, de que va a haber una RUTE en Valencia. Como sabéis, mi, como muchos sabéis, mi compañero David Pérez es de Valencia. Yo, José Pico, soy de Valencia. Eh, nuestra empresa que hemos fundado, pues está en Valencia también. Así que, pues esto lo hemos acogido con una ilusión muy grande. Y lo queremos celebrar con vosotros, pues como se celebran las cosas en Valencia. Vale, pues ya dicho esto, ya podemos empezar la charla. Eh, como sabéis, en 2G eh, se podía. El protocolo tenía una serie de vulnerabilidades que permitían realizar un ataque con estación base falsa. Esto es ampliamente conocido. En ese ataque, lo que se podía hacer, eh, entre otras cosas, utilizando ese ataque, pues hacer cosas como el IMSICAR. Yo, writes with a device, I know whether a user is not on the coverage area of my false face. Or for instance, as it was proven last year at the routine, I could geolocalize in an accurate manner in a radius of two kilometers any device that I am looking for. Or I could also deny the service to a given device. I could do that selectively. There are several techniques to do that. It also on 2G allows you to intercept communications and to manipulate them. So, for instance, I could record conversations, I could false the of fake the number. So, this is part of the vulnerabilities that has been proven over this time for two years. What is going on here? Since we have been working in this job, we have received several news. News uh, regarding the uh, URLs, and we can we can see that um, this can be done in 3G. So this news was very very interesting regarding how to proceed. Uh, this this is one of the f f motivating factors. On the other side, there are some uh, researchers and investigators, and there's be a slightly serious so-called prestigious uh, researchers telling, okay, you can do it in 3G. But we want to re we want to report this situation because it's absolutely untolerable. Excuse me, can, can you please use the microphone, the room microphone, for the interpreter to understand and to listen to the question? Sorry, we cannot hear the, the, the question at the interpreter in English but because uh, uh, there is no uh, room microphone. Okay, th this is... We can't stand it. We, ho we hope these investigators never uh, go through the same mistake. What uh, attacks uh, from 2G can be done also in 3G? We cannot intercept uh, the communication uh, nor manipulate them. Uh, I cannot see the point. In, but I can, we can do easy catching uh, uh, the devices, localizations, denial services, and downgrade selective to, to G. Many leave it said you can, I can do uh, select downgrade to to G. My mobile device can can get this since in 3G communications cannot be intercepted. If I force your device to access your um, your device, I can I'm perpetrating to uh, G over uh, a 3G system. Our objective in today's talk is to tell about this this um, issue. In our leaflets, they said, with our super secret uh, technology, this, let's uh, create a down select downgrade to to G. The moment we started investigating, okay, super secret. 
it's super, it's a super speed. We haven't uh, invented anything uh, anymore. Devices uh, they are doing this. Um, okay, it's not invented by us, but okie dokie. Uh, it hasn't been launched uh, before. Their super secret technology. What does it mean? Uh, but this, this is patented. You go to the patent, and what you're telling uh, the patents, this is 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 this is this is public. Uh, it's not hidden. This technology is patented. As a start, super secret technology. What is the concept underneath? The concept on which this is based upon is absolutely extremely simple. Simple concept. It is. To put it, it's really, really bullshit. This concept is really bullshit. These attacks performed on 3G. That this concept is super simple. That's why we're going to tell that this talk is going to have two parts. The very first part, in which we'll tell the theoretical part, why are these uh, attacks possible, and then we'll break through uh, uh, all the attacks. And finally, we don't want to, to stay here. We uh, we couldn't be able to prove it, but we have started a job to l leave and move these uh, theoretical attacks onto a real scenario. That's, that will be the second part of our job. Without further ado, let's move on to the background, the theoretical background. How do this attack work? Very short uh, theory before we proceed. In three, on 3G, it's very different. The 3G has a lot of security. And um, that's why this uh, so-called little researcher thought that, that this couldn't be done in 3G. But it, 3G said like the rule said uh, that the messages have to be have to be protected in integrity. They have to be digitally signed. Some attacker with a fake um, uh, satellite, a special special satellite, cannot be signed. And this is the establishment of um, this integrity protection uh, happens at a certain moment stipulated, which is the security mode command. Let's we'll go back to this point later on. Later on, uh, communications are also protected through and by algorithms, cryptography. Um, 3G cryptography, unlike 2G, is 3G cryptography, uh, at least uh, publicly speaking, is not uh, now broken. So this cryptography is not uh, at the moment broken, it's still protecting us. But if this cryptography is, sti is still protecting us, is it possible for for uh, the hackers to attack? Cryptography is uh, protecting us like, from, from this. Here, the, the the, the the key concept, this uh, simple concept, is that messages have to be protected. But let's read it carefully. All messages are, are all messages protected because if there is one single message not protected in integrity, I can send it over. It can be useless. It can be used for me in in certain respects. This is the dialogue, the approximate uh, dialogue established when a, a mobile acts for uh, makes a request of service for from a network. On the left, the mobile in the middle of the base uh, station. Um, the network it acts for a um, radio channel is given by the, the station to this established channel makes the format request at, at level three hello I want to be uh, receiving a, a coverage and the network has the, the faculty to identify this user if he's now known but it's always the network if, if, if it proceeds to identificate and authenticate the user. The red can authenticate the user. It, the, the network will demand the user to prove you have the case to be stored in the in the SIM card. Once authentication establishment of key are done, uh, the integrity um, turns turns on and appears on screen. So it means that all communications will be protected in in an integral way. And throughout this um, diagram, you can see that key traffic starts being protected down um, at the bottom. In the meantime, uh, many things ha happen. By doing zoom here, when the mobile asks for a radio channel, it needed to uh, make the request of service to the uh, to the network. At this moment, the stage uh, the user is not identified. Any 
any device can be assigned a radio channel. Once assigned, uh, let's move on to the next steps. Once the uh, network has considered uh, opportunity, is it clear for now? It's the key issue. This is the, the basis, the fundamentals of my explanations. What is, what is it going if this um, whole scenario, when I'm asking for um, a radio channel, what happens if it's rejected by the radio station, by the um, network? I, ha I don't have any radio uh, station. Here's no authentication. I'm only requesting a, ch a radio channel to speak with the network, but the network can say, okay, I don't have the available uh, radio channel, so connection rejected. So regarding radio resources, but I know, I do know who has this um, channel. I can give you another 3G frequency or something which is interrating for the 2G cell um, with the service for you. I will give you some info that can be useful for an attacker and it can also be useful for um, a fake radio station impersonating uh, an operator. Las normas no se protegen en, en integridad, ¿no? Como os ha contado David antes, pues los mensajes de... The regulations, these messages are not protected, as you can see on the screen. What happened with um, high level, uh, level 3 messages have um, the radio channel? I, I'm making um, a request procedure. As you can see, there are some exceptions. Uh, depending on the situation and accordingly to the these regulations of the uh, network, this can be protected in, in an integrate, integrate why are not so identity request who are you and location updating reject which means i'm not giving you service by telling you why i'm not giving uh, i'm your mc is, is not valid so i'm not giving you service for this reason because the location rejection is allowed not to be totally protected let's move on to the ne next subject I have the, theore the theoretical fundamentals. What should we need to proceed this way? We sh will need a radio equipment, good enough for this purpose. It's very accessible in the market. We sh should use a modem. Uh, software modem is also necessary for this purpose. It could not be a software, but we could access the base band, the basis functions of in the modern. We want to control and we want to create uh, the radio channels and the emulation, the simulation of all the parts of the protocol intervene in the in the procedure, in the establishment of the radio condition. For this talk is like this, but we'll revisit this uh, um, this later on, but just imagine for the, the, this current, current uh, talk that all these six at the moment, and uh, let's simulate attack by attack how it's working by uh, the tenants by admitting that this is like this is now exist, and now let's simulate the, the the four attacks, the very first three ones proved in 2G can be done with a fake station, and the fourth one, which is uh, uh, specific for 3G. Uh, move on to this to this um, to this area, the front cell, and I'm still okay. Let's move, break through the different different attacks based upon the very same principle we have proved. The MC in IMEA catching the attacker has a fake base station in their coverage area. The um, attacker is interested in. Uh, recollecting all the images of mobile devices that are surrounding them. The attacker only ha create a fake uh, radio station as in 2G mobiles uh, detected it and um, they, they made uh, service requests because it has strong signaling and the uh, network rejected it uh, for them not to um, uh, understand it. So mobiles uh, requested coverage uh, from normal uh, networks and the attacker has the this can be done as well in 3G because the 
RRC connection established, I can create a, a so-called fake uh, 3G uh, radio station. The mobile, by using this radio channel, is going to try to request my service. What happens? I'm gonna tell him, okay, before the sign, I'm giving you service or not because I'm, I may be the network. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're gonna tell me who you are with the same identity request we could do in 2G. He is obliged to answer back me. He's going to give me his MC and I got it. And I do a reject, no worries. I'm not gonna give you service. But the rest of them, I'm going to, to give you service. And all the mobile phone numbers are going, are going to go through this um, process and get all the MC catching. Which is can uh, easily done in, on 3D because proofography is not applicable at this very first phase. Any questions? Until now, it's very simple. Second attack is geolocalization. Geolocation of devices. Here, the attacker tries to know the exact uh, location of a concrete uh, device uh, which who like to be the victim. Last year, with this uh, 2G uh, geolocation system, you n knew the area in which the victim is targetable. You embark the system on a car, uh, driving uh, around the area with a fake radio station. Um, the, uh, this is the this is the, the fake radio station with it covers. But if if he uh, picks up the mobile uh, inter in which we are interested, making the request. Was, not, at this mobile is we um, uh, accepted the registering we established a silent phone for him to continuously send in over all his data without showing anything on screen with this traffic every time that streak of information uh, got us uh, we took uh, uh, measures to triangle uh, the coordinates and calculate um, his geolocation now in 3G, we cannot do this. When the service is re requested, we can accept uh, the service and give in the service because the last accept, accept is protected with cryptography. Here. So we do really truly need to accept the, uh, uh, this registry. We don't think so. Why do you? Because before uh, registering many things have happened on the radio, on the radio channel, we have answered back if this person is using this channel, and uh, which, which is used by him by sending his uh, request, I want a uh, um, complete service, um, which is going to be uh, um, around the bushes. Um, uh, I got a um, um, request, but I'm answering back with a, a, a transmission failure. It, they, he has um, some timers to, to retry once and for all, and I'm not going to be able to, to perform the, the whole registry. In the meantime, many rushes and many uh, streaks have been sent to me to triangle the, his position in the right location. Do you, got, do you get it? Without accepting the registration, we can also, we can also accept messages to um, locate the device. Let's be cautious here, not like the little bad researchers. Um, this is, is the, uh, this is feasible and possible, even though we have improved with our hands. Next. The next uh, attacker is a 3G denial of service. I put my radio station working, or the Greenpeace, the targets. The, um, I told them, I told them, okay, this, your IMSIs are not valid. So uh, in the demo, there was a missing phone number. They told us, okay, I'm not valid, so I'm not doing anything else. So they uh, ran out of service. They they notified um, only the fact that they are out of coverage. I uh, turn off my attack, and this continues to be uh, without service until the uh, user reboot the halt uh, service. This is attack of denial, denial of service is also is also possible in 3G because it, this is not protected. The, the initial part of a uh, request for restrictions is not also uh, protected. There's one of the few exceptions uh, allowed. And permitted the last attack I want to mention where it's possible without having tested it is the, the super famous uh, selected drug rate to 
to G. Here we propose two ways to um, carry out. There is a third one, but this is a nasty and lurid one, and the two first ones are best. The very first one, if you are asking me for a radio channel and have the, the possibility, I'm not, uh, but the other one, the uh, two you can do it, can do so, and that's very time. I'm forcing you in a selective way. In this very case, is not selective. I'm forcing you to go to to you to two G. In case you're using the uh, 3G level um, uh, message, I have a 3G fake radio channel. This fake radio station uh, set up with the same location area with the real one, which is in this area. And the code, the rejection code, is location area not, not permitted. In this location area, you cannot re uh, be registered. So the mobile has stopped looking for legitimate uh, base uh, stations and it looks for. Uh, new ones in different places. If I have a 2G radio station giving um, service by impersonating the very same um, provider, the mobile is, is going to find the station. There are two ways to perform a selected downgrade to 2G. There may be an, another one, and perhaps there are many more other. So, by reaching this point, with the exception that it is not still totally proved, let's move on to the slide where everything is supposed to be done. Uh, from everything that is supposed to be done, what is really done, and uh, it is not really done. Uh, Harvard is now existing. Um, high range uh, uh, version and releases can be valid. The hardware used by us, um, uh, requirements with um, bandwidth enough for us, and uh, time and pre precision of uh, watch, uh, which is adequate. Frequency is not a multiple 384, uh, can be can be done sampling up software. It's not, hardware is now on the market. The the parts of the protocol in which are, are interested, some can be done, others can be rewritten. Rewriting, so this is the, our blocking problem, and we want to put it into practice. The blocking problem is this: we don't have access to a 3G bandwidth, and um, there's nothing published at the moment. And uh, yeah, at this very point, we want to perform the attacks we had mentioned before. Let's move on to the next stage. At this stage, we don't have it. Is, is it okay? We were studying all these attackers. This can be done in 3G. This is not feasible. It's proved or not. So we uh, performed the checklist about what is available or not, and we it did enough. And we we got down at that moment. At that moment, we fell down. There are many obstacles to confront in life. You know, the, the most suitable for us is this one. And there we go. We got it this way. No tenemos un Movis 3G, digo un, un modem 3G. Have a 3G modem freely developed. So let's create one. Is uh, so there we go. We uh, uh, wrap up our uh, slips on our shoulders and created a uh, 3G software modem to perform everything freely. The very first part is to take a card, allowing us to capture signal at a determined frequency in the in the uh, with band correct to us and um, we use this kind of um, uh, mechanisms on the internet set cards with two transmitters and two receivers on the same uh, card which can uh, allow us to have the right sampling and is connected th through a uh, 3 gig ether to the PC and uh, you need the, the driver, an open driver, a free source open driver with the specified um, version for this car but it's now available for this UMTRX uh, car which allows you to do sampling of the signaling. Eh, el siguiente paso es escapar. Next stage is to capture the signal, to take some plan of what is going on in the air in the right frequency, and we get a um, radio base station, and uh, you can get a digital representation of this analogical signaling on the India for us to contact the 
the car, we uh, know 3D much better. Let's capture 3D for us to assure that everything is okay. When you are sampling uh, a 3D radio station, when you put it in, in a graphic way, you expect to have a circumference of radio 1. And um, because in 2D information uh, is transmitted in a very uh, summary way, to orthogonal signal in the area capturing these two signals, which are the coordinates, in the traditional way of representing it graphically, these two values merge at, at, at every moment in the plane UQ, WQ. So every sampling, sample get gotten in the in the, the, the company of one axis and the, the company of the other axis, you're going to get this um, image. What you are expecting to see uh, represented in, at this point, every symbol in, in this circle should be at a concrete uh, point at the, every moment. But if transmitter wants to transmit a one, next uh, instant, this point has um, uh, turned over and is in the 180 degrees in the hour sense. So we, at, at every sample is moving back forward and move forward all the time. This is what we knew. And when we check the, the chart, yeah, at this, unlike the we have um, a, a, a depressed moment now, we are getting happy because even though there is this noise, we are expecting the right signaling, clockwise and anticlockwise, respectively. So you can, if you uh, glare through it, you can even see the beeps working it. By looking and glaring at this uh, signaling, we were thinking of, okay, vibrating orgasmic things. Since we have the 2G signaling capture, let's capture 3G signaling. Let's, let's get the, the phone in monitor mode and within the right spectrum. Let's uh, show it. Um, and you almost expect the same because science is, is are within the circumference. When you capture a 3G signal, uh, is this what you are expecting? No matter how you start uh, looking at it, you you not you don't see zeros or, or ones. You can see a wrapped paper. So let's move on to the three G signaling. Uh, it was unbelievable for us in the very beginning, but it's like this. So you have to first perform a resampling because this uh, signal was captured at the. Um, uh, we need, uh, with a multiple uh, of 3.84 mega, we need a, a sample signaling to a multiple, sorry, here we go, of 3.84 mega samples per second. Once the resample is done, next step, you need to synchronize because you are uh, obtaining a full range of numbers, which are the samples from the signal, and you need to know where things started. So in UMS, um, the the plotter is uh, like this. Then the, the the time slot, you need to know where this is starting. First, align the time slot, UME. Uh, you have the primary synchronization channel identification set that introduced in the signal, and you get a, a synchronization where the time slots begin just right at this sample. Vale, una vez tenemos claro dónde empiezan y acaban los símbolos, once these symbols start, next step is primary synchronization channel for this purpose. Now we're going to, to move to the second synchronization channel to identify the group to which um, the primary scrambling code belongs. And scrambling code is a process where radio uh, station uh, emits. It's it is a random manipulation for to, to, to discriminate what is this emitting this station from the others. Uh, there are many many types of codes. Instead of checking all the codes, they were grouped up and split up in several 
um, groups you have um, eight possible groups and the secondary um, single station channel identifies what group these real stage is uh, belongs to the, the, the code so you are taking one of these eight T4 uh, is is detectable. Once is detected, they, they tell you, okay, there you go. This is where the, the scanning code belongs to, and tells you which one of the time slot de de determines that the f the the beginning and the end of the plotter. So that's arbitrary determined. This is a um, plot number one and with and with the synchronization channel uh, you uh, obtain and uh, these two purposes uh, furthermore you need the concrete scrambling code used to extract the signal from that radio base station the group uh, inside every group there are eight possibilities and we have to check them uh, Every one of them for us to know what uh, what of them are using this um, radio station. Once the um, radio station code is identified, one of out of one of, out of these uh, eight, we can reverse and inverse the pseudo uh, random manipulation, and we extract from all these my magnet and pandemonium of signals the one signal transmitted for our radio station because on the same frequency other radio base stations can be uh, signaling with a different code with this we extract what is coming from this particular radio base station once these uh, radio once these um, particular radio base station signal is extracted you have the bits you only have tips and for us to to, to get from the tips to the bips you you uh, need to perform the inverse process you go to the to the regulation what has been done on regulation and transmission you you check the regulations the column uh, on the left uh, you can see the bips and the, the emitter uh, perform some processes continuous 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 and the, the button it has chips that can be sent in the air this is done by the transmitter we have to reverse the process we have to do the just the, the opposite we are now here uh, at the bottom we have our tips and we have to program ourselves as much as possible if for us to undo the physical channel the second the, the second second into reading and they shuffle the bees to be transmitted and um, the segmentation of physical channels, separate them, the logical ones of transport from the others, depending on the channel you are using. You need to time them up, uh, data from different um, cells, then the shuffling again, and uh, you need to uh, adjust speeds of transmission to which bits are coming is on the same of the one that's coming in the air, and you need to manipulate then you decode convolutionally as speaking of what you have and you obtain at the very end the bips these bips can can be passed on to the next higher level this, this is level two so let's move on to level one and that's where that they can be used bits can be used that at very at this very high level now the demo of what I have uh, just said. The, the, the only part, the only part we are going to to be able to show live is that the capture part. The, the starting point for us uh, to 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 perform the demo will be a file obtained by capturing sampling sampling a signal at this uh, frequency with this uh, width band show me all the samplings and load them in a file this is the capture uh, point uh, data is the file you can see now on screen it has 16 million sub sampling and the type of float we need first to, to brought this uh, file with uh, this executable let's execute with the entry file is capture point data and then exit file is capture point data point resample the the in rate is 
and what is the, the, the rate to which we capture the, um, uh, the, f the files and uh, we want this f uh, file as if as if capture by using a sample per symbol we resample it at the right frequency of chips of UMTs which is all around 84 samples mega samples per second this process amplifies the signal and constructs an exit uh, sample like this and with, luckily we will finish this way uh, the exit the, is the, the capture now resample and it takes version to be shown with plot this is a little script to call in the plot to GN plot and let's show the, the 20,000 very first sample sampling does not affect the, the signal it only aligns the points of sampling for you not to lose the points From this uh, resample signaling, we are going to invoke let's first, let's first execute the command because it takes some time. Capture data resample. It reads the files inserted in the structures, which is a step. Is the, f the first part of the first steps. The the part of the synchronization is done by this executable. The very first thing is to read the file, put it in in, in the structures to be analyzed. With uh, in a more complete way, and the part you can see in the AMSI identifies so or try to identify the the time slot al alignment with the primary synchronization channel once uh, the time slot is found time slot alignment says okay is here the first one is in this case the very, the very first time slot is in the sample 2008 if it would be in in a higher sample we would think we wouldn't find the right one in this case the 2008 sample go to go to the second synchronization channel now the the plotting uh, alignment let's find this the scrambling group uh, which allows us to scramble the signal and the, it goes through the um, all the, the scramble groups until identify the right one if you you can see it takes some it takes a long time this is what uh, our mobile devices do when they log on to the uh, 3G um, coverage because it has all the optimization from the compilator if um, your processor supports these uh, 3G uh, optimizations on 3G the code perhaps can be Google we have been constructed this by the trial and error method you read the, 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 the regulations but sometimes regulations are ambiguous or a lie themselves when when constructing and building the whole system up we have uh, been checking and testing we can find uh, many things in in the in the code that are working other are not working at the moment this code performs all the testing but we have still uh, a lot of margin to be of improvement there's a room for improvement when it reaches 63 all these camera groups have been tested and they will have de decided what, what is the right scrambling group to be used here and let's move on to the scrambling code to uh, scrambling the signal to transform the signal to uh, discriminated from noise and other signals and know where the chips are so now now it only has to check seven scrambling codes from uh, from uh, one to to eight. Once finished, it says this sample has this scramble. The first one, the first one frame is here. In the number you can see on the screen, and the scrambling code is three from group thirty-three. Is a real? Is a real signal, by the way. 
is not on purpose. It's a real signal. It's group 33 because it's like this, as such. With this, I can um, scrambling the signal and I uh, move on to an uh, exit file with the chips sending over by this radio base station, which is the one you can say. This file, we add the scramble extension to move on to the next um, processing series upstairs once the DC scan the D is scrambling has been performed with the chips emitted by the radio station I need the rest of the transformations to reach to the bit. We're moving from the chips the chips to the bits now. This is called D scrambling. Now let's uh, listen to this guy on the interface Lupa on port UDP. 47, which is the one um, assigned by IANA to GMSEPAP, which is uh, used to encapsulate all the things coming from 3G, is defined this way. And uh, let's move back. Let's move back to this terminal, to our terminal. Let's uh, lower it up here. And now we are going to launch this uh, receive program and tell them that um, uh, entry uh, file is um, file capture data resample point scramble and it now it takes uh, this uh, the, the, the file where the chits are and the, now it will reverse the process to extract the beeps Now it's, now it's extracting the BIPs. If everything is works fine, we'll see BIPs obtained from every uh, plot, from every from every um, crossing point. Attention, stress now, but now we got it. Let's scroll up. Let's scroll up. Now we're scrolling up. It had been processed uh, the, the 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 plus by pairs because the channel t we tried to listen is BCH which is broadcast and th th since this is segmented uh, it's, a sp it's a split in two plots so the reception process you need to take two consecutive plots and reconstruct what you have been sent over. This is the convolutional dec decoder. Uh, exit the bips here. The program tries it has um, a sequence of bits in capsule in UDP and send it to Ur Shark. Let's see if it can if it can capture them the, the focus here. Macasa protocol. It says that the RDC. Let's scroll up because the superior level after level one is the level of radio control RDC. If we move on to the very first part, we see that all the plots have the the meta added by us, and then it counts what we can what is on the plot. It detects that is a broadcast message and can decode this field. This is the, the system frame number, which is the consecutive number of plot. Let's click now in the next one, and we'll see that it's consecutive. If you if we take uh, one of them, perhaps the first, it, it knows how to decode that is um, um, a second thing, and inside it has a mastering information block. And here, the dissector of Ursark is reaches its object. This is master information block, and these are the bits inside. Which I don't know how to decode now. We didn't have time to uh, implement the dissector from uh, Word Shark, but let's uh, do, let's use this uh, tool from what I'm going to show you now on screen. And now we we did the cut and um, paste of this piece in in hexadecimal system then binary and for us to uh, interpret the series that bits you need to move to the rule and uh, find out the definition of these blocks and um, 
we look for the identification MCC, MN, and C, uh, identifying the net grade, which uh, here are uh, 214 Spain and 01 Vodafone is a radio, sta radio station from Vodafone, from which we capture the whole thing, and we from which we obtain the whole bits. At this very point, we stop it. And um, uh, we in, uh, we intend to l move this topic to a proof of concept basic. Uh, our, we wanted to access uh, to the uh, width bound of a modern. Uh, it's almost it's almost uh, soft, and we stopped there. That that's why we couldn't improve any further attacks. I will present to you, and that's it. Period. Final remarks. Our conclusions, um, to sum up what we have told you, is that these attacks, we thought that they were uh, feasible in three, in 2G and not possible in 3G. We proved that they are also possible in 3G. 3G are possible as well. Uh, we we can do that. A selected downgrade to to G. We believe. We believe. We believe we uh, we haven't proved it yet. We haven't implemented it yet. But now we have uh, the the modern where we can crack the whole uh, base uh, band. But we are reasonably uh, convinced that this is feasible. So we have contracted this little um, tiny uh, researchers who say who said bad things, unprovable, and we we of course. Um, affirm that this is feasible. Now, attacks are possible in 3G by using the technique of radio station. So, should you, um, should you want to obtain uh, more information, you can get this book. This book, the, this book will be uh, re uh, released again in the in their latest version. Um, it's, been, it's been delayed because of our uh, fall, not not for the company. So this our book will be, will be available for you to check it and if you have, should have any questions or suggestions, we'll kindly accept them. Thank you very much for your attention. Hola, aquí en el centro. Question, just in the middle. Muy bien, man. The, the easy catching phase, is this any uh, condition? If one mo mobile tries to connect with all the radio base stations surrounding them, negotiate with, with one of them, there is some limitations. Uh, uh, this mobile device connects to the, 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 the best one. It, it can always be captured, and MC can always be captured, but depends on certain conditions. The response is, of course, you can do so always, but you are going to have to do it in a very careful way if you want to achieve, uh, want to achieve it, but you can do so. A mobile with the uh, service of a real base station is not monitoring all the possible um, reasons because it would take and consume a lot of battery and the regulations say that the servicing radio station, the one of these existing information and service blocks, is the list of uh, neighbor cells. The mobile will monitor uh, these frequencies from these um, declared neighboring cells in which it's going to check all these neighboring uh, cells for it to know if it's a better signal coming from the cells. If you want to success, first you need to analyze what are the neighboring uh, cells and put it like being one of these neighboring uh, cells. Second question. This process tends to be very slow. Do you think that you can develop a tool so enoughly reliable and powerful to do it in real time? But it requires hardware. It doesn't require hardware. It's very slow because, like I said, 
is not optimized for anything. We have a lot of room from improvement. Uh, what, how much and the, we, we only need uh, 20 mil sex to be done because it's the, the time in the next uh, plot. So we, we can do it in this in the next in the next uh, step. We can do it with a real PC in real time. Okay, okay, arriba fondo todo. A question: What is your uh, rich rich uh, radius with the QM uh, plugs to overlap the just where the cells of operators come in from surroundings? As I saw, we use the the the, the card the, the only for reception. We listen to what we uh, the real station was sending us, and it has been implemented. If you are gonna try to recreate this attack, we have to meet uh, and pre pretend to be a real radio station. Uh, how much coverage we do have with uh, this card? We haven't checked it. We really don't know uh, well, what uh, the reach and the, the coverage of our plaque and card would be. But if you want to get more uh, coverage, let's um, let's get it broader. If you need a little coverage around the device, you uh, perhaps uh, with no amplification you can get it. But it would be likely some little meters only we haven't measured this uh, these meters we don't have the, the right data if you need a wider device uh, coverage we can we, we can use the geolocation system the car we have three kilometers of coverage around us you need to add a reception and uh, amplifier and to combine signal in Spain is not legal you break the law here in Spain you need to move to a different country. David, please, you have the floor. One simple question. When you're going to authenticate the terminal, the mobile, the identity request performed according to your statement is obliged to uh, respond to the terminal. It's a command sent by the network to the uh, terminal. The identity request is a message sent from the network to the terminal. Is the, the network will decide to send it or not. One receipt, you have to respond. These are MC fields, or you can get more information from the terminal. You can, you can ask him for the MC capacities, uh, what type of encryption they support. You are there are only three things you can ask them. You would be fine to ask them who is your owner or some additional information. There are no more questions, so thank you very much for your attention and your assistance.